You probably have a topic that you really like. What if I told you you can have short format videos on that topic being made on autopilot? With this workflow, you can generate based on any RSS feed of your choice. You can publish it and monetize it. Okay, so here is the workflow, as you guys can see. Um, and let's run it. Um, I'll speed up here real quick. And once it's done, I'll come. Okay, so here it's done. And we can finally see in this HTTP request. Alert. Bitcoin's fourth quarter performance is hanging by a thread. Experts are divided as macro risks and liquidity concerns are pushing Bitcoin into a worrying sideways drift. This isn't just market noise, it directly impacts your portfolio and potential gains. Will Bitcoin defy the odds and rally, or are we headed for a tough year end? This uncertainty creates massive opportunities for savvy traders. Stay informed, protect your assets, and prepare for what's next. Follow for daily alerts, not financial advice, Dior. So, this is the workflow, and now let's create it. Let's start by the credentials. Okay, first step, you get into the HiGen website, choose a free plan, and then finally, you go to settings and access your subscription and API. Here, you should see this HiGen API. And right here, where is my mouse, you should be able to activate your API key. And then you copy to clipboard, and then you finally can use it to create your avatars. Okay, so how do we do that? But before using the API key, we are going to get other API keys. So remember to save this on a notepad. Okay, so next step, you're going to get the screenshot one API. Once you log in for the first time, you should be able to click here and get your API key. Remember to paste somewhere, that way you don't need to access here every time, okay? So you can even paste in the workflow if you get to our school community. Okay, next step, you're going to IMGBB, and then you log in, go to the API website, and copy the, your API here. And then you can use the IMGBB. And as you can see, I'm pasting here in keys and IDs because here is the place you're going to paste if you get the workflow from our school community. Okay, and next step, you're going to get your avatar ID and your voice ID. So the website's kind of buggy. So here's the way, so you don't need to use the website. First step, you go here, create a HTTP request on a manual trigger, and you go to this authentication part, generic credential type, header off, and you're going to create uh, an authentication. In name, you put X API key and value, you paste your hygiene API key. That way, the website can see that it's your account requesting to see the voices options and also the avatars options. This request, this get, is totally free. You don't need to worry about anything. It's only to see the IDs of everything. And as you can see here, I copied the node and I just changed the end part instead of voices to avatars. Okay, now I triggered manually. And let's see, so now we have the output here. Um, I recommend putting on the JSON format, okay? And here, uh, the J JSON format just runs better, okay? You can see we have a lot of voice IDs, the language, the gender, so you can uh, choose. And you also can see the output for the avatars. Remember, to click on JSON, that way you can see the outputs. And here you also have the IDs. And those IDs we are going to use in this key and IDs. Okay, so you finally have every credential needed to use this workflow. If you do not want to go to the trouble of creating it, you can have it in our school community. Our school community is only 20 bucks and you have a lot of different workflows and also you can have our contact, our direct contact to solve any doubt that you have, okay? Uh, we will be available there almost every day. Okay, so in case that you want to create this workflow and see some others that we already showed in the channel and some that doesn't exist in the channel, you can access our school community. Remember, it's only 20 bucks and it's really cheap and it help us continue with the channel. Hope you enjoy creating the workflow. And remember, you are free to modify the workflow, this one from the video and even ours from the school community. So let's let's create the workflow. First step. Um, Choose whatever, whatever trigger you prefer on schedule or trigger manually. 
On the schedule is great for automation, but I'll put manually here. Next step, we are going to create um, edit fields here. And this edit fields is really important. Okay, so it's a uh, keys and IDs. It's really, really important. And what are we going to do here? We're going to create a lot of stuff here. We're going to put first avatar ID. So here you put the avatar ID you chose um, from the credentials that I showed you before. We are going to also put here our voice ID from the credentials I showed you before. The hygiene key, which I showed you before how to get it. Um, the screenshot one access key. And here you can also already just put your access key if you want, if you prefer. Okay, and we are going to also put the IMG PB key here. Okay, um, so let's take these keys real quick and then we can create this work. The voice I'm going to use is from the female called Ivy, okay? In case you are wondering. And the avatar I'm going to use is also a male. But this time I'm going to use Abigail as the avatar, okay? And you put here your ID just like that. As you can see, guys, here I'm using IDs. There you go. Next step, now that we already have this IDs set up, we can finally start creating the workflow. First step, we're going to create this AI agent, which is really important, define below. And here on define below, we are going to create uh, an expression. And this expression, as you guys can see, is a lot of information. It's understanding what he's going to do. He's going to create the script and he's going to create the script with hooks, with news, what matters, with a call to action, um, understand duplicate content and will also um, extract images and everything from the news so it's it takes everything automatically okay that's what's going to happen and it's going to create a valid json as we seen here so let's configure this to work mm, let's choose the chat model this chat model that we're going to use is gemini chat model okay because it's easier to set up you can use flash or pro you choose what you prefer next we are going to use a tool and this tool is going to be the rss read tool okay you choose whatever feed of rss feed you you want all right and we are also going to use the tool of google sheets okay and this Google Sheets, we are going to set automatically, sheet within document, get rows, we put here by URL, and you will need to create a new Google Sheets. And this Google Sheets should have a subject and a video part, okay, just like that. Uh, change the title here, so I'll put news AI, and you can share and get your link here. Put the URL and you should be able to choose from the list. As you can see here, there we go. And it should be like that. All right, so what's going on here? We already have the chat model, the RSS read, and our Google Sheets. We also need to configure our settings here to require a specific output format. This output format is an output parser, okay? Structured output parser. Inside here, we are going to configure this output parser, of course. He has status, script, title, source URL, image URL, hashtags, and triggers, okay? All of this is really important. That way we can use this information from the Gemini to through our workflow, okay? So I'll put up here just to make it cleaner in the follow-up uh, because we are going down in the construction of this. Next step, we are going to create the video. And this video is going to be created via HTTP request, okay? What, what are you going to do? We are going to get okay and let's paste here we are going to get from this api screen sh screenshot one and basically save the picture okay save the image we are going to we are going to need to configure this to send headers no send query parameters okay query parameters um, using fields below name access key and the value is an expression. And this expression, it's going to be 
our keys and IDs, so the screenshot one access key. Where is this coming from? As you can see, this is coming from our keys and IDs. So as you can see here, we have the everything. I, it's coming from here, okay? The access key from here. All right, so this is there's where it's coming from. And that's it. So this HTTP request is going to create the video. So let's put down here. Um, this first is actually not going to create a video, but we are creating the video in this section, okay? Let's create another HTTP request. And this one we're going to put here, post. And we are going to upload. So every time you post, you're going to upload something. And we are uploading to, guess what? To another. We're going to upload to IMGBB, okay? So the image we just got from screenshot one is going to be uploaded here. And why is that happening? This is happening that way we can use the data okay so we are putting from data form data and a 10 binary file and we are going to name here image and data and we are also going to parameter type form data again and name and screenshot why what are we doing here we are uploading this to this website and this data is going to be used by us in this workflow so it's basically saving the picture to us so we can use it. All right. So let's create the video indeed. Finally, um, another HTTP request we're going to create here. And this HTTP request is going to send us through hygiene um, video generate. Okay. Um, you can do the authentication that I showed you with generic or sending headers. Okay. Choose whatever you prefer. I'm going to show you guys how to send headers now, but the way I showed you before in the credentials part also works here. But I'll, I'll show you both just in case somebody has any doubt, okay? And as you can see here, we are going to get from keys and IDs our hygiene key, okay? And another part that's really important, it's send body here. And we are going to send JSON file using JSON now. And here we have this JSON, which is really important. What's going on here? We have AI agent generating the script. We have the keys and IDs for the voice ID, the avatar ID, and we also have the background. The background is going to be a screenshot of the website, okay? And we also have the title. So this is every input you need to create a video on, on a video on autopilot, okay? So now that we have this configured, let's save this video and make everything work. What we are going to create next, we're going to create a wait function. This wait function is going to be a, um, four minutes wait interval. And here we are going to put another HTTP request. And this HTTP request is going to check if the video is already done. Okay, the status of the video. So just you guys understand, um, this video will take a while to create, okay? And as you can see, the reference node does not exist. This is from, let me rename here, just so you guys understand. This is coming from here. Let's correct this. We also need to correct um, this title here to work with my way of creating workflows, okay? All right. Now that you have everything renamed like that, it should work correctly, okay? And now create avatar video. So it's coming from this HTTP request. It's going to create the avatar video. And um, we have here the ID of the video. And we are going to get the status, okay? Why is it important? Because if we, we do not do that, the workflow will not know if we already have done a video on the topic. So we put here the status is equal to completed. So it's going to check is the compilation of the video completed, okay? Next step, we are going to create a wait function again, and this is going to wait one minute. So let's understand what's going on here. We're going to create the video, okay? And we're going to wait four minutes. If the video is not ready, we're going to check the status and the status will not be equal to completed. Okay. And if it's not completed, it's going to wait a little bit more 
so we can finally go to this HTTP request, get the video URL, and then finally we can update a Google Sheet with the information we need. Okay, so going to append rowing sheet, and we put here by URL. We can copy here the link again. Okay, it should appear here, and now. We are going to put here the subject of the, the thing, if it's posted, and the video URL, just like that. Okay, so guys, this workflow was real quick to create. I hope you, like, you guys enjoyed the creation of this workflow. This is going to create um, news based on the RSS feed you choose, and it's it has an amazing avatar. If you're seeing this, this means you saw the whole tutorial to create this workflow. I hope you enjoyed, leave a comment and subscribe. Remember to check it out on our school community for another workflows and here on the channel as well. Okay guys, Rustic Architecture is having such a moment right now. And honestly, I'm here for it. There's something so timeless about working with natural materials and embracing imperfections. When you blend raw textures with warm, earthy tones, you create spaces that just feel authentic and inviting. The beauty of rustic design is that it celebrates craftsmanship and history. Every element feels intentional, like it has a purpose and a story behind it. It's not about being perfect, it's about being real and creating that cozy, lived-in atmosphere we all crave. This style proves you don't need modern minimalism to make a statement. Sometimes going back to basics is exactly what makes a home unforgettable. Would you go rustic in your dream home? Let me know.